What would you say to someone who um, has never owned a home before and is looking to get into the market for the first time? So Dennis, that's a really great question because I think that the market now is is kind of transitioning, right? Uh, interest rates have gone up and, and I think first time home buyers are kind of pausing right now saying, you know, should I just wait? Um, so my advice would be don't wait. Uh, I, I, I still think that uh, buying um, at the right price and, and at a, a price that you can afford is uh, more advantageous than, than renting, right? It's predicted that rents are still gonna be going up. So I, I think it's important um, not to get uh, too nervous of this transition. I think that the market is starting to just kind of calm, calm down to pre 2019 um, times. And I think there's a lot of uh, programs out there for first time home buyers, check in with different lenders, um, because they do have types of programs uh, based on salary and your zip code, and people should look into that. Um, but again, I, I don't think that buyers should, should pause right now. Um, in fact, some real estate economists are predicting that uh, prices will stay the same or in some zip codes, even for 2023, go up by a percent. Now, not everybody believes that. But these are some of the things that are trending right now if you keep up with some of the economists. And um, so I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't advise uh, or provide a tip that would say, you know, just back off. I think you still should move forward, get your pre-qualification with your lender and get out there, get to open houses and, and keep looking. Um, there's a housing shortage. And so uh, you still need to, to, to stay at it. I always feel like uh, buying is better than renting.